So it's June 1st, 2023. And even though it's June 1st and, you know, summer is officially here now. It's uh, June through August is the official months of summer in Canada anyway. Um, the thing is, you can see out my really messy window there and you can't really see too good. But it is covered in raindrops. It is raining really good out there. And then I have my good friend over here. And she is very eager, try to get the camera focused, to go outside. Because she figures about this time of morning, usually if the weather's nice, we would go for a walk over in the dog park. And so she's like, hey, let's get going. And she has no problem with the rain whatsoever. Actually, that wouldn't bother her at the least. But it'll definitely bother me, so... We're not going to the dog park right now. It's just too wet. I mean, it's not officially pouring at the moment. I think it poured earlier. But it's still pretty soggy out. So we're just going to let things dry up a bit before we go and do that. But she she has no concept of, of waiting or like... All she knows is it's dog park time and that, that's always now. So that's she's frustrated with me. But she's going to have to be frustrated because it's wet out there. And I'm like, oh, that looks gross. I don't want to go out in the wet. Anyway, happy Pride Month, everybody. It's uh, June 1st. And uh, I recorded another Darcy's Corner yesterday. But I didn't post it because I don't want to jinx things. Um, I've been practicing... Practicing trying to do manifesting and stuff and um i've been manifesting the scenario that i'm in right now since before christmas because that was when i was working at the at the feed mill because things were not going well there and i just envisioned a scenario that i would be in in the future that would require me to be in that scenario that would require me to be um but my presence would be important. And I think maybe I might be in that scenario now. I won't elaborate too much because sometimes you jinx things by speaking them into existence before they're quite there yet. And I don't want any... Because my scenario involves other people. I don't want anyone else to feel like they're being pressured or stalked or like um, I'm going to mold... The situation into what I want for me with no regard whatsoever for what they want for them <laughs> like that's not that's not right or fair um, and it's probably not a healthy mindset to be in so anyway bit of a ramble huh <clears throat> what I'm saying is that I am hopeful that I'm going to have my life again where I'm going to have the type of family dynamic that I want and the type of partner dynamic I want. And then it's just a matter of honing in the job, which I'm still very frustrated at, but I got some time still to keep, to keep looking and to find work that's going to be fulfilling enough that I can do it and pay well enough that I don't need to have my hand out for charities to make up the difference. That's my goal. <clears throat> so I think things are going to come together here shortly. I'm hoping they do. Um, everything's working in the right direction anyway. So Darcy's life is, uh, is moving on and I, I have faith that um, God, or the universe, whatever you want to call it, um, has my back. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm feeling kind of zen. Um, now this is me without any makeup, freshly shaved face. I don't think it's, my look is all that bad. Um, once I can get rid of the 5 o'clock shadow, I'll... I'm liking how I look better and better every day. My hair frames my face nicely. It could be a little bit longer, but give it another couple months and hopefully we'll be back down to here-ish. 
So I'm feeling very hopeful and I'm feeling quite happy, uh, I think. So hopefully this carries on. So Darcy's Corner. Peace.